So what is a foodie anyway? Well, a foodie doesn't just like food. A foodie is passionate about food. Just like a good student has a thirst for knowledge, a foodie wants to learn all he or she can about food. Now, does that necessarily mean that you have to know the difference between a beefsteak tomato and an heirloom tomato? No. You just have to love great food and want to learn about it. So welcome to Foodies, the show that explores great food and exposes the secret recipes of some of the best chefs in New England. With us today are two award-winning local culinary stars, Chris Ravezzi from Ravezzi's Ristorante in Sturbridge and Wilson Wan from Baba Sushi in Worcester. So grab your notepad or pencil and bring your appetite because it's going to be a lot of information and a lot of fun. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hi, Henry Kamasi here from Kamasi Masonry Supply, your home for hardscapes. With retail stores in Worcester and Charlton, we display everything from pizza oven and granite benches to natural stone and drivable grass. Our hours are 7 to 4, Monday through Friday, Thursday nights till 6, and Saturdays 8 to 12. And check us out on the web at kamasi.com, where you'll find coupons for our newest products that will help save you money on your next home project. As we said, Chris Ravezzi is quite an accomplished chef. Chris is going on a 10-year anniversary in Sturbridge at Ravezzi's restaurant. It's actually called Ravezzi's Ristorante. And he's also the former champion of the People's Choice Award at the Worcester's Best Chef competition in 2007. He also placed in that same category in 2008. Hey, Chris, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Dominic. Oh, pleasure's all mine. So, you know the story with foodies. I don't know how to make much. I can barely pour the milk in my Cheerios. So I want to know, is this going to be easy enough, this dish okay, we're going to be Okay, well, this is actually a, uh, a moderate, kind of intermediate dish. Okay. What I had hoped to do was take somebody who was familiar with making chicken parmesan or maybe a chicken piccata at home and add one or two more ingredients, okay. one more step, and you have that much more intense of a dish. Doesn't sound very challenging, but I'm sure I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll create the challenge You'll be for fine. You. You'll be fine. Okay. Today's dish is polo a limone. Polo? Chicken to the lemon. Chicken to the lemon. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to run through our ingredients real quick. Got it. Uh, the amounts you can find online, right on your website. Absolutely. Just go to foodiestv.net for a full list of ingredients and suggested quantities. Excellent. We have boneless breast of chicken, uh, two eggs that have been scrambled. Got it. Fresh baby spinach, sweet grape tomatoes, some fresh lemon, shredded mozzarella cheese. We have a nice white wine for cooking, extra virgin olive oil, chicken stock, Butter and minced garlic. And minced garlic. I thought okay. the chicken stock was drawn butter. Okay. All right, it's we got some pepperoncini, some here. nice pepper here. Too. That was my garnish. That's uh, your garnish. I'll All show right. you about that later. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to saute our chicken. Saute. So I'm going to put our stove on high here. Great. And add a little extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And what I need you to do. Yes, sir. I have flour. And we need to take that egg. Okay. Now you're going to dredge the chicken. Oh. Dredging the chicken, you're going to take our flour. I mean, I'm sorry, my take fingers, our chicken. Am I all right with the... You washed your hands? Yesterday. Okay. okay right, Drop right, right, the then. piece of chicken in there. Yeah. We're going to season it with a pinch of kosher salt okay. and a couple of turns of black pepper. Pinch, huh? All right. Pinch of kosher from a pie here. Here we go. There you go. A little turn of the uh, black pepper. Oh, you can barely see it coming out there. That's fine ground. That's a weapon. We're going to flip it over and we're going to add this mm -hmm. to our egg wash. Nice. Get the egg both wash sides? Both sides. Okay. Okay. Now, while that's sitting in there, I need you to do the process exactly over again. With Same thing? Second Same okay, thing. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Very nice. I'm going to add our chicken 
Very nice. To the pan. A little kosher salt, Chris, am I right? Did you get out, you know, it's like you get, if you're talking to a three-year-old here, I gotta exactly. tell you, I'm a culinary infant. A little pepper. We use kosher salt in our kitchen because yeah. it's a coarser grind and you can actually feel it in your fingers. And I know you can see it come out really You can easily. see it come out too, but if you try table salt at home, it's too fine of a, it is. Of a grind. It is. Okay. That much I know in my limited experience. We're gonna flip that over. Very good. And add that to our pan also. You want me to add it? I don't have uh, very gently Perkins compensation insurance here. Here we go. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Now while this chicken is cooking, if yep. I could have you cut about five of those grape tomatoes in half. With with this thing? Let's say this is a professional chef's knife. <laughs> okay. And please be careful. I don't have insurance. Here we go. I'm gonna five. take our five of those. I'm gonna take our oven safe Pyrex dish. Raise the heat a bit. And I'm going to brown this chicken on both sides. We're not too concerned about cooking the chicken through, Dom. Okay. Because this is a two-step dish, half in the pan, half in our oven. Oh, okay. You're just going to get it nice and brown? Yep. I'm going to brown that egg. Very nice. Just lightly. Very like nice. That. Basically cooking the egg till it looks like a little coating of scrambled eggs on the outside of the chicken. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Tomatoes are done? Tomatoes Excellent. are done. Okay. Now, I'm going to place the chicken in our... Oven safe, turn that off, dish. Okay. Okay, now our second level to this is gonna be garlic sauteed spinach. If you could grab that fresh spinach for me. Very nice, very colorful, okay. love it. I'm gonna add a little more oil. Okay. And really quickly, a little bit of minced garlic, just as it starts to turn white, drop the spinach in the pan. A little more? A little bit. Okay, there it is, okay. I'm gonna season this with our kosher salt. You notice that every step that I'm doing, we season. Right, everything okay. you do, you put a little seasoning it on it. It brings out the flavor of every separate dish. Now, Positively. a little bit of wine. Vino Bianco. Never use a wine that you wouldn't drink. I never will. I just, I'm a wine guy, the you know old me. phrase, garbage in, garbage out. If you use a, <laughs> Very good. If you use a cheap cooking wine to cook with, yeah. That's, your dish is gonna be cheap. Yeah, absolutely. That's a nice uh, Californian shard. Low oak, by the way, low oak. Splash nice of our white wine. Crisp. I'm just going to quickly wilt this spinach. Are we good? So it stays nice and bright green. Sounds nice. It's looking great. Okay. Look at that. And then nice place it on colors. the top of our seared chicken. Now, if I were to anticipate the next step, would I dress this with uh, formaggio, something in the cheese area? Exactly. Okay. We're going to take our shredded mozzarella. Ah. I need you to pile it right on top of the spinach. La mozzarella. Okay. More, come More, on. Okay. More Italian. Right. 400 degree oven. 400 degrees for about about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, that sounds good. What's up next? Uh, we're gonna have to make a sauce, our lemon sauce for that. Okay. Okay, lemon sauce coming up. While we're getting that ready, folks, stay with us. We'll take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back to pull that out of the oven and get into our lemon sauce. Thank you. Life is full of detours and roadblocks. Sometimes we need those speed bumps to determine our life's purpose. The best way to cope with change is to create it for yourself. Are you prepared to seize the opportunities? I'm Tom Ingrassia. My seminars, workshops, and individual coaching help you develop a roadmap to live into your dreams with vision, courage, determination, and passion. Full speed ahead, speed bumps and all. To culinary enthusiasts everywhere, there is one icon that rises above all others. One that's been empowering them for more than 70 years. One who continues to establish a new standard of Epicurean achievement. At Thermador, we create products that aren't for everybody. Only for those who insist on true cooking performance. Thermador, an American icon. Well, we're back with Chris Rovezzi from Rovezzi's Ristorante, and he's got the polo al limone in the oven. I think we're going to pull that out, and we're going to dress it with our, uh, our lemon sauce. Lemon right, sauce, right. So now the lemon sauce, this is a one-pan meal, which means everything that we've done with this dish mm -hmm. all comes out of one pan. Great. Okay, so in that same pan we cook the chicken, we're going to make a quick lemon sauce. Love it. I'm going to turn my uh, stove on high here, add a little more olive oil, and this is a quick sauce. I need you to cut a lemon for me in half. You got it, a lemon coming up. You know, this stove's terrific too. I notice how quickly it goes up and quickly it goes right. That's These the induction are induction stove. Unbelievable. 
How fast? I really had to learn. I didn't uh, even burn my hand. This. If okay. accidents were going to happen, it would happen to me. Now you're going to follow me really quickly. Got ready? it. Okay. I'm going to add butter. Butter? A little more minced garlic. More minced garlic. Got it. Okay. I want you to squeeze that lemon over your hand, keeping the seeds in your hand. Let the juice fall. Okay. A little bit. It's kind of a lot for me to handle, but I think I can make it. Perfect. Doing that all right? Perfect. That's a different way to drizzle. Okay. Okay. I'm going to add great. a little more salt, a little more black pepper. Every step, right? Every step. Terrific. A splash of my good cooking wine. Mm -hmm. And then our homemade chicken stock. You can also use store-bought if you like. Oh, it's a sin. Just at the end. You make your own, though. I do make my own. That's the next level up from foodie to chef. So while this sauce is reducing, I'll take our finished dish out of the oven. Hey, that looks terrific. The cheese is melted and brown. The chicken is cooked through. Very I have a nice, nice plate here. Very nice. Now, so far we have white, we have green. What's yeah. left for an Italian dish? You need rosso. Rosso. Grab your grape rosso. If there's a piece of my finger in here, don't worry, just disregard. Throw them right in our, okay. or, no, no, throw the tomatoes in our okay, sauce. Okay, okay, back in the sauce. All right. That's okay. That's right, you want to cook these up. You want to cook them. You don't want to really See, cook foodies them make mistakes. You just want to warm them. Completely acceptable. You want to warm the cherry tomatoes in the sauce. I'm going to shut off our stove. We have a nice spoon here. Mm -hmm. And then the last step, if you will take a little spatula. A little spatula. Yeah. You know what? We'll use, we'll use our tongs. Better still. I'm going to put this on the plate. Fantastic. We're going to pour our lemon sauce over the chicken. Chris, that smells great. Let the tomatoes fall. Look at that. And earlier, I minced up a little bit of uh, pepperoncini, roasted peppers. Mm -hmm. I like to just sprinkle them over as a garnish. Or in the corners of the, uh, right in the, corner. the triangle plate. Red, white, and green. That's great. Polo a limone. That looks terrific. Thank you. There you know go. something? I got the perfect wine for it. What do you got? I got a fantastic Sangiovese from Tuscany, Italy. This stuff's great. It's just right with the polo al limone because it's not too strong. It shows a lot of bright, big forward cherry fruit. Nice long finish. Delicate enough. Robust enough. It's got everything. You know something else they say? And the foodies at home ought to know this. Cooking at home keeps you young at heart. Was that my cue? I think it was. Fairy tales can come true. It, it can, can happen, happen to you if you're, you're young at heart. Chris Rovesi from Rovesi's Ristorante. For as rich Thank as you for you joining are. us on Foodies. It's Stay tuned at home. We're going to be joined by Wilson Wong, master sushi chef from Baba Sushi in Worcester. To culinary enthusiasts everywhere, there is one icon that rises above all others. One that's been empowering them for more than 70 years. One who continues to establish a new standard of Epicurean achievement. At Thermador, we create products that aren't for everybody. Only for those who insist on true cooking performance. Thermador, an American icon. Hudson Appliance, one of the largest appliance showrooms in New England, brings you vast selections of brand name appliances at low warehouse pricing. The knowledgeable and friendly sales staff will help you find a perfect replacement appliance or guide you through the most difficult kitchen renovations. Come check out the great selection of Energy Star products. Not only will you save money on your utility bills, but you'll save on dishwashers starting at $199 and front load washers starting at $399. Hudson Appliance for saving, selection, and all your appliance needs. Welcome back, foodies. As promised, we're back with Wilson Wong. He's a sushi master, the executive chef and owner of Baba Sushi in Worcester. And he's from the Shaodong province of China. Now, Wilson's here to help us find out a little bit about how to make sushi. But before we get into that, I have to ask you, Wilson, I went to graduate school in Boston with a guy named David Wong. Is he a relative? Oh, yeah, part of my, Probably. Part of my cousin. Funny thing about David is uh -huh. he, his real name is Xiaodong Wong. Uh -huh. But how he came up with David, I'll never know. Uh -huh. So my question for you is your name is Wei Dong Wong. Well, how did you come up with 
Uh, uh, Wilson. Oh, uh, you just uh, hit me. Okay. So that's a house. So when I land in this country, I have no English name. So I would have some na name like uh, Tony, William, Jimmy, whatever. Maybe like Jimmy, but I don't picture you as a Tony. Okay. Not All in right. my house anyway. Okay. Now I'm, when we playing around, so my boss, the hold the ball, so he probably just found out the name. Yeah. Said, oh, Wilson. Oh, Wilson. Yo, when he called, I have no idea what he called. And okay. it stuck, huh? It stuck. He's shooting it. a foul shot with a basketball. He saw Wilson on it, and he figured, that's your name. Got well, I hope he shoots his foul <laughs> shots as well. <laughs> All right. Wilson, thanks for joining us Thank today. Thank you. OK. As I mentioned, you're a three-time champion of the Worcester's Best Chef competition, and you're here to help us foodies at home figure out how to make sushi. So I understand that we're going to do one thing up front first. We're going to make an appetizer called tuna tartaki, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Can't okay. wait to do it. I'm going to grab the tuna. It's right in the refrigerator. Let's go. Let me get the tuna out. All right. Let me turn the oven on. I'm not too good with a knife, so uh, I'm going to be very careful. Okay. So make sure. So right. Oh, okay. Now you got beautiful tuna. Bit. How do I cut? Oh. This is the right knife, correct? Right. Right. Just okay. cut like this. So hold the knife like that. Yeah. All right. The finger looks like this. this? Hold the vein. Yeah. How about and then, that? And then we take this off. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, He's even yeah. showing me how to hold a knife. All right. All then. right. So we go about what? How big? This big? Oh, that's okay. Yeah. And you got to cut a, across the grain, right? Right. Just one time. Go. And they call that across All the tender. Right. One time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we got to get it in the pan, right? Absolutely. A little so, oil. Oh yeah, absolutely. So give it one second. It's coming out hot. Looks like it's doing pretty well. Oh yeah, let's get it some oil. Get a little oil in there, and this is going to be seared on both sides, just a little, little bit, correct? Okay, yes. Okay. All right. This is the induction burner from uh, Thermidor. This stuff heats up very quickly. I think we're almost ready to put it right in. Okay, just one second. Oh yeah, let's, go. let's try. Ready to go? Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Sounds right. great. Let's Sounds great. This. Okay, sizzling, they are happy. They are jumping. Very wow. happy, very right. jumping. <laughs> See, one side. How fast that happened. Yeah. Unbelievable. Now we have to plate it, am I right? Oh, I think I'm going to so. cut it and then plate it, correct? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Let me move this aside. Mm -hmm. And whenever Hold you're ready, up. I shall cut away. Okay. Nothing. Let's go that. That's great. And then before you cut it, uh, dump it. So yes. Let's yes. Get some paper towel. Let's make it short, gentle. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, you oh, are a sushi yeah. master. All right. This. Thanks. Now, so let's do that. Same thing. This. Mm -hmm. All this, right. This. Correct. Right. And how this are we going to cut it? The thing is, this is one, one time. Okay. Right. All right. Very good. One. One. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Two. Two. Very good. Three. Nice. Go four. This looks Very terrific. Good. All right. Thanks. And five. Mm-hmm. Look, so, no yeah. fingers, nothing. Beautiful. No fingers, nothing. Okay, cool. And then Excellent. now. Are we almost ready to plate it, right? Uh, We're getting be, there. Yeah, all right. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -oh. I'm oh, actually yeah. going to put it. And you usually use a martini glass. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to put it in something that resembles a martini glass. If you recall, this is Ooh the Worcester's Best Chef Champion Trophy. All, all right. crystal from nice. top to bottom. Very good. Now, you help me with this because the presentation is your thing. All right. Now we are going a little bit of daikon radish first. Radish? Right. As and a bed. As a bed. Right. And then lay out all the tuna there on top, like uh, go the mountain. Like oh, okay, a, like this? Right. right. Piece by piece. This is supposed to look like Fuji Mountain? I think so. Right. Very nice. And then two more pieces. See, I'm Italian and design is kind of our thing. But uh, I'm not a master like this guy, so I'm still learning. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then, like this, and then nice. See, so the people then. And then, this is called uh, wasabi miso dressing. Wasabi miso, okay. Mm -hmm. And now, then, we just drill up on top. Just a little drizzle. Right, yep. Yep, very good. How's that? Is that okay? Very good. And Terrific. Then, and then Next. Let's go to a little bit the scallion on it. Little scallions. We're going to just... Right, just chew a little bit for okay. the comfort. Yeah, and a little bit of notch. And uh, the black tapico, we call that. Black tapico? Right. Now, this is a form or, of um, caviar. From the, caviar, uh, from the fine fish roll. Right. Just a knock a little bit. Oh. Just a little bit on the, all over? Right, or just... all the way on the top. Oh, that's all. Oh, okay. oh. I'm going to spread right. it up there a little bit. Nice. This can be the volcanic remnant from mm -hmm. Fuji. I think we all set. 
How's that? Just like that? That's it. That is terrific. All right. Listen, this looks fantastic. I can't think of a better, better vessel to put it in. We'll be right back. We're going to go to a quick break, and we'll be back as we talk about the rainbow roll. Back in just a minute. Okay. Wilson, nice. Wow. That looks roll. tremendous. Okay. Cool. We have to try this. All right. Life is full of detours and roadblocks. Sometimes we need those speed bumps to determine our life's purpose. The best way to cope with change is to create it for yourself. Are you prepared to seize the opportunities? I'm Tom Ingrassia. My seminars, workshops, and individual coaching help you develop a roadmap to live into your dreams with vision, courage, determination, and passion. Full speed ahead, speed bumps and all. New information was released today about the risks associated with poor indoor air quality. According to the EPA, indoor air pollution may be a greater risk to health than air pollution outdoors. Secondhand smoke is responsible for approximately 3,000 lung cancer deaths every year among non-smokers. The EPA says the air in our homes and offices is up to five times more polluted than the air outdoors. Everyone agrees indoor air quality is a major problem. You know, it used to be when you heard about air pollution, you thought of smokestacks and refineries. And while those are still a major problem, it turns out that the air inside your house is potentially even more polluted. It's being called the greatest health risk of the 21st century. Tired of smoke and odors in your home or office? Then ask for a free, no obligation, three-day trial of the fresh air by EcoQuest today. Fresh air is radically different than air filters on the market. Why? Because it's not an air filter, it's an air purifier, and it works. It actually helps clean the air. In fact, EcoQuest's patented radiant catalytic ionization system uses the same process developed to scrub the air clean in the NASA space program. Fresh air by EcoQuest with the proprietary Synergy process is considered by millions to be the world's best air purifier, and you can try it for free. It's patented, made in the USA, and carries the industry's best warranty. Just contact the EcoQuest dealer who gave you this program and tell them you want to try the fresh air in your home for three days. There's no obligation. We're back with Wilson Wong. And as promised, we're going from appetizer to entree with a terrific, colorful rainbow roll, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I see we've got some terrific tuna, some salmon, and some shrimp. And what's this? It's called a fluke. It's fluke. a fly fish. It's a, it's a white fish, right? It's a white fish, right. All right, let's get to it. Let's get uh, to it. Right. So what okay, do we have to do? Let's go. let's go. So first one, so you wash your hands. Yep, keep your hands nice and wet. So make this wet and then get it this. That's the, it's called a seaweed paper. We call right. it nori. And uh, nori seaweed paper. Nori seaweed paper. Right. This is rough side and the mm -hmm. uh, shiny side. Shiny side on the on the bottom. Okay. Rough side up. Right. And then we okay. just grab a little bit of rice. Not too much. Always keeping your hands wet. Right. Always wet. So it doesn't okay. stick to your hands. Right. I'm the it's from left to right. You're spreading the um, the rice right, right down, and it's right. a big rice and it's right. sticky rice. It is. And guys at home, foodies, TV.net, just check the recipe, check the suggested ingredients. All of it's right there. Just. You don't want to miss this in terms of entertainment. You All flipped right. over the um, over the seaweed, the seaweed and we roll. grab some uh, we call the kajikama, right. crab meat, and uh, some shredded cucumber. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, a little bit more. more. Oh, please! Absolutely. All right, okay. more always good. Now we cook a little bit more, and then all right. Now what do we do? Wow, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff there. Now you give me hard time, so then <laughs> we roll it. Oh, uh, you're rolling the sh then the rice stays terrifically right on the outside. Right, and then we slice the fish here. So we got oh, a piece boy. of salmon. That's spectacular. Uh, nice all cut. All right, nice. You're cutting the shrimp, the fish across the grain or across the tender. Right, exactly. On a now, 45. 45 degrees, be great. Very nice. Okay, all right. Another piece. Nice of and thin. Looks like, like about right. a quarter of an inch thick. 
All right. And the penis syringe, or the minute. Sure. So here. Right across. Right, right across. Uh, now sure I'm seeing right. where rainbow roll comes mm -hmm. in. It's looking, it's taking on some really nice color now, Wilson. Right, thank you so much. Mm. Now, so we got some uh, avocado cement in there. So. I've got some. Oh, please. I saw you rip bird. through them with your knife a little while ago. Oh, yeah. Blink my bird. eye and a whole avocado was nice. sliced up. Nice, all right. Now we just do that curl a little bit. I think we put it next to it. Got it. Right. <clears throat> yep. And uh, we got a two kind uh, bamboo mask. This went firm. A All bamboo right. mat. So use the bamboo mat to shape the roll. Right, exactly. So just a press. Wow, very right. nice. A bit hard. All right, fix two ends. And where okay. can somebody pick up a bamboo mat? Okay. See? Any place, supermarket, I think. I think so, yeah. Any yeah. is in and uh, store, they have that. It's a okay. cut of pieces. Okay, half, Three, half, <clears throat> half, half. Eight pieces. Half, yep. half, half. And that looks then, great. Now we don't this. Fix it a bit. Sure. Nice All and tight. Right. Nice Looks tight. beautiful. Thank you. Now, now you're going to plate it. Well, plate. I got to see a nice black plate right here. Okay, cool. Uh, can't think of anything more relevant than the Worcester's Best Chef Championship Award plate Thank for you to you place so such much. a tremendous creation on. All right, let's do this. And then let's, let's use this. What is this again? This is called the daikon radish. So that's daikon grass. radish. Right. Okay. We put it in the middle. And very nice, thing. very nice. All right. And also, we, we got a little here. bit of uh, radish sprouts. Very for nice. And then, oh, oh, you got a good stuff. Banana leaf, oh, right? Banana leaf, good. Very nice. So, all right, just let's dry it a bit. Sure. Okay. All right. Very visual, very nice presentation. You know what, what's great about this is it doesn't take that much time to prepare it. If you can get the fish and you know how to cut it, this is actually that one of those dishes that a lot of us foodies can make at home as an appetizer. Right. Listen, it's Just looking tremendous. That. Thank you. Matter of now, fact, I got the perfect wine for as we round the corner. You, you keep okay. putting the garnish right. on and I'll take right. care of the wine okay. part. All right, now I need a bit of wasabi. Ginger. Some wasabi. Right, the horseradish and the pickle ginger. I'm done my job. You did your job. All right. You did your job masterfully. Take a look at that. It is the rainbow roll as prepared by Sushi Master Wilson Wong at Baba Sushi in Worcester. Wilson, I'm gonna put a nice glass of wine here for you. This is the Oyster Bay Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. It's sharp, crisp, clean, citrusy, has the weight of a Chardonnay, but very citrusy and clean like a Pinot Grigio. It's perfect with that type of fish that you prepared. Folks, thank you very much for joining us on Foodies. We'll see you next time. All right. Thank Great you, my job. All right, look at this. Can we dig All into right. this? Absolutely. Where are my chopsticks? Okay. Where are my chopsticks? I think it's on a knee somewhere, so. Let's Great. Go that. Yeah, I've right. got to get a pair. Here oh, we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But let's you never this. saw with a bit of an Italian sauce. man with chopstick skills like me. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. For you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Wondering better, Chef. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.